Right, so what you are joining me from right now is the passenger seat in my Bora since I have installed the SolarWorks coilovers. It's now about three to four weeks later and I am shooting a review video from inside the car with my Canon 90D with a lens that doesn't have image stabilizing. What that means is every imperfection in the road that I'm feeling, you're going to see as well, which is a good way to make this video as transparent as possible so you get an understanding of the ride quality. And what I will say is I'm currently driving on rural country roads that are around my area, which are renowned for being shocking. These are super, super bumpy roads. These don't get much love at all. They're designed for majority of cars around my area, which are four wheel drives, not lowered Volkswagens. So what I will say is these coilovers do that very well. What I will say is these coilovers do a great job around these sort of areas. These are what I would consider a more street oriented coilover rather than a track oriented coilover, meaning that they are really soft and really, really comfortable in comparison to plenty of other coilovers I've ridden in. What I will say though, is for my personal build and the future of this car, these aren't going to be the coilovers that stay in the car. I'm gonna be going for something more track oriented because to be honest with you, originally when I first purchased this car and these coilovers, I was planning to go for a more of a stance car. I was gonna get some deep dish rep wheels and lower it as low as I could possibly go and that was gonna be really cool and it was gonna look sick. And then I realized that I'm gonna to need to do things such as notching the frame. I'm gonna to have to do the, um, the wheel centering kit for the rear, a whole bunch of things like that that I don't want to do to this car because I wanna keep this a dailyable car. Seeing as I've now sold my Audi and my Golf, I know it's a big bombshell to drop. This is my only car. This is my daily. This is my everything. So I want to keep this thing super practical. I've purchased a set of rims for the car. Um, I'm also planning to source another set of coilovers for the car as well, um, which are going to be adjustable dampening. Um, that's just going to give me the ability to dial the ride quality in exactly how I want it for these coilovers and the overall ride of the car because right now I actually think it's too soft as silly as that sounds for around my area there are pretty substantial bumps everywhere and I actually do find that I can bottom out quite occasionally around these areas and this won't happen if you sort of around the city sort of area but on these rural country roads where they are absolutely shocking you do bottom out actually quite often due to how soft these coilovers are but I didn't experience this in my Audi, so don't take that as uh, take that with a grain of rice. Um, I didn't experience that at all in my Audi with bigger wheels and smaller tires. I'm just saying with the suspension in this car, I do find that I am bottoming out occasionally with these shocking roads that I drive on from a daily basis. But with that said, I do definitely recommend these coilovers. They're a great budget friendly street oriented coilover that do a very, very good job of going low and giving you the ability to adjust that once you are low. So I'm definitely being able to dial the height in to exactly where I want it right now. And it's just above the legal limit for here in Australia. I'm super, super happy with the ride quality. I just really wish, and as you can see it now, I just have it a little bit stiffer so it wasn't bottoming out as often as it does. But with that said though, this is the SolarWorks coilovers. This is how they ride. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this very, very short video just from inside the car. And I'll show you outside now to give you an idea of the sort of ride height. I'll tell you where I'm sitting uh, just to give you an idea of the adjustability levels and how high and low you can go with these coilovers. So let's jump to that now. All right, and here we are from the outside of the Bora. And as you can see, I'm rocking a very practical and nice ride height. And you can see my new BBS RC330 rims. Now, whilst to anyone in America, this won't be a big deal at all, these rims are extremely rare in Australia and have to be imported. These are extremely desirable. However, we're talking about the ride quality here and the ride height. These SolarWorks are currently set about 15 mil from maxed out in the rear and 35 mil from maxed out in the front. If you drop the front any lower, you have to be careful of the sway bar hitting the CV. However, this just gives you an idea of the height. Both the front and the rear can go up substantially higher. I'd say about 20 to 30 millimeters front and rear higher, and they can both go about a half inch lower 
safely without rubbing on anything. Any lower than that, the front sway bar will hit the CV. But this gives you an idea of the sort of drop you're going to get. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have, make sure you chuck a like on it. Subscribe to my channel for more content on the Bora. And with that being said, I'll look forward to filming and showing you more of the exhaust because I'm sure you heard it in the back of this video.